this vortex is so cool. Check this out. This amazing vortex is in the middle of La Posa North. Look at that. So I'm here walking this beautiful vortex. Isn't this amazing? Someone or a group of people took the time to make this here in La Posa North. It's way down at the end of the road. And it's just so beautiful. And look at there's and there it is. Look at that mountain range. And there's Palm Canyon. This is our Sunday afternoon. We're just my friend Bunny put this together so a bunch of us could meet up. We are van lifers on TikTok. Van, bus, you know, vehicle dwellers. Whatever it is. But we are nomads. And it's wonderful to gather some place. <laughs> With a group. <laughs> but look at this incredible saguaro. I mean, it looks like it's giving birth to bowling pins. Or if you ever like in the 70s woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and turned on your television there used to be this cartoon on in the at least the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut that was called the Barba Papas and I, they were just like blobs that could change shapes look at that it's just so cool I mean this is just so cool bowling pins. <laughs> I just get to have a freaking rainbow moment. Look! Ah! Oh! I am so grateful right now. This rainbow is so beautiful. Having a serious gratitude moment, and I get a rainbow. Right? I mean, how awesome is that? I can't see, so I don't know if I... Oh, there we go. There it is. I want to make sure I get a shot of me and the rainbow. <laughs> so much generosity around me. Because it hasn't been easy, you know? I mean, but not necessarily having cash flow. Because, I mean, I've my paintings have definitely been currency for me, but that doesn't pay the bills. I have to get paid for a few paintings so that I can actually pay bills, right? And there's everybody. That's our camp. And uh, we're having a little fire. So I'm going to go and sit back down with all my friends. Wow! How cool is this? Look at this. Front row landing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that's so awesome. So we got the wood all covered up, which is awesome. 
Yay, yay, yay. We got some sprinkles coming in. I had that tarp readily available, which was so great. And wasn't that just such an amazing landing that he stuck right there in camp? This is so cool. And just a chance, right? That he came and camped right over across the way from us. Off in the distance there, it's so middle earthy, isn't it? That mountain range, that is the Kofa that we see in the distance. And I think maybe even Crystal Hill in between. So I got this little drawing done this by the fire today. And we'll see. I didn't mask my edges, so I may change it a little bit. We'll see. Right? I definitely feel like I need a little um, mountain like this range to come out over here. But that's also something I can do while I'm painting. But yeah, so that's it's a beginning. And this is that really heavy 300 pound paper. It's amazing. These saguaro on this mountainside must be so tall for us to be able to see them so clearly. Oh, with the naked eye. So it's now midday and it's considered quartzite nap time. Most people take naps. <laughs> And the reason for that is, is because so many of us go to bed with the sun and wake up really early in the morning. So I'm not alone here in my early rising habit. Oh my God, I just had to stop editing to, to bring you this amazing, and like Nugget's purring. She's like, oh my God, I smell something. I smell something, mama. What do I smell? So what happened? Joanne just knocked on the van door and brought me a pancake. It's an elderberry chocolate chip pancake with New York maple syrup. What? Oh, she's like, I put in the, I'm put, she's like, help yourself. And then I'm pouring the syrup and she's like, oh, geez, I hope you like the plate. I'm like, oh dear God, this thing is going to soak it up. And it's already like, Phew. so here it goes. Mm. Oh my god! Oh, it's so fun. Oh, I gotta be careful. Yeah, I hurt my voice doing flow a little too much. Oh, um, I strained it. I didn't tear it, but she had elderberry syrup, and we had I had raw honey. Mixed the raw honey and the elderberry together, and had like a nice amount of it, so I would get a good coating. And then I was just quiet for the day. I know that's kind of hard to imagine, but it it happened. <laughs> I am camping with. A group of people, um, nomadic life, chasing smiles, had you know, slash Joanne plans, and Bunny and Beyond from TikTok. We all met on TikTok. So she has a full-time residence in Syracuse, New York, and she travels for the winter in her van. And um, so I'm looking forward to going to New York for the summer and having a, a buddy to go exploring with, right? All right, so I apologize to all of you mesophilioma did I say that right? No, misophobia. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the people who hate the sound of people chewing. 
I apologize to all of you. You shut this off right now. Actually, they've probably already shut off by now, right? <laughs> anyway, Joanne, this is proof. I'm going to make sure mm, that I get every last drop of that New York maple syrup that you so kindly shared. Oh, what a good balance of chocolate chip and elderberry, by the way. Alright, here we go. I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh my god, this shit is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I pretty much got it all. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joanne. Take a load off, Andy. Take a load free. Take a load off, Fanny. Hey, 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 put the load right on me. Oh yeah, that is so awesome. Just he's just the hanging in there. Woo. Or he's he's gonna leave right on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> he heard that. <laughs> I can't move. Nice. Well, we made it. This is the spot apparently where Van Aid is supposed to be. A whole bunch of people parked over there. It's a little late in the day for me to go exploring. I just almost spent all of my Patreon money. I didn't quite get as much gas as I would have liked. I have just over a half a tank. I'd like another... Half a tank of gas. I have to get to and from Joshua Tree. Well, good morning, everyone. Look at that. This is the beginning of this full moon. I guess the full full moon happens some point tomorrow night. Maybe even Monday morning. Isn't that full moon amazing? I know. You know, you would think after all this time I'd get used to where the camera is. I'm not. Oh, I, wow. I am enjoying my, I think, final cup of coffee this morning. I have been up since very early. I went to bed very early. I am camping alone today. It's the first time in a while. It's actually the first time since I got here to Quartzsite that I've camped alone. I think. Yeah. I am here on Plamosa Road near where Van Aid is happening. So Van Aid is when um, things can get done for, you know, everybody helps each other out. So I have to figure out how it works. I am leaving. So here's the thing. I have to go meet a friend, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to Joshua Tree. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're actually staying in Yucca Forest, which also sounds exciting to me. So I love Yucca and I love Joshua Trees. 
Do you remember? I did a whole bunch of videos in the desert wildlife refuge up at Gas Peak in Nevada and absolutely beautiful just north of Las Vegas. You gotta check out if you're looking for BLM around Las Vegas. This is a place to check out for sure. Hey! Yo! That is a big no-no and you know it. Oh, you could so have choked yourself. I don't want to hear it. No, that was a big no-no. Get down right now. I, all the way, thank you. She doesn't chew on the brushes. What? It's the full moon. I'm telling you, this child, whenever the full moon... She was a whack job all last night trying to rip the window covers down. No wonder. Oh, and they said this was, it's a Leo moon. What do I have to expect? It's going to be powerful. Anyway, they always are. For me especially, I'm very sensitive to the full moon. She's like a whack job when it comes to the full moon. Anyway, Joanne gave me a cabinet, which I think is going to fit over the foot of my bed. And then maybe like some of this everyday clothing that I have, you know, the stuff that I wear all the time as layers um, can go up in there. Right. And stop having to be in the back here creating this wall of. Ah, I once likened it to tribbles. That is how it feels. Do you know what a tribble is? If you don't, Google it. And this is it, my wall of clothes. So that's the wall of triple. Trouble. Oi. I know. Getting closer and closer to sunrise. I still see the moon. Hello, moon. I should put my glasses on. Scratch. No, not scratch. Just schmirai. One of my father's favorite words. A schmirai. What is a schmirai, you might say? A schmear that has gone awry. <laughs> a schmear awry. I'm cracking myself up right now. Well, I can hear my dad laughing right now in my head. I'm maybe getting a little bit pink. And now he's really embarrassed because I told you he was getting pink. Oh, hello. These are my reading glasses that almost never come out. I'm so bad. I will take off my glasses first. Oh, and there is a time limit. So my goal is to find center camp today, right? And then figure out if someone can pop it up for me right away. Woo! Awesome. If not, then I've got to schedule it for when I come back from Joshua Tree. Because I'm going to Joshua Tree. I know, I'm a wing and a prayer because I've got $13 right now and I have just over a half a tank of gas and it's two hours each way, which is more than what a half a tank of gas is going to do. Um, Just a little bit. So, just a little bit. There's time. I could still, I could sell a painting today out in the, if I can find center camp. Wish me luck. And the sun set on another day after I did finally locate someone who was going to come by in the morning. So off to bed I went. And when I arose in the morning, was motivated to paint the scene outside my van window. Ta-da!
So here it is. I finished this little painting of my saguaro, palo verde, and creosote with little brushy brushes. It's much earlier in the morning. This is from sitting in the van. I love it. I'm really happy with it. Da -da -da. So I talked to Johnny, who is the guy who would be able to put my cabinet in here, um, and spoke to him about what my plans are because they're sort of changing as I go. I already was semi-packed up because of getting ready for these guys maybe to do some work for me. So um, he has a really good idea about a hinge. He's also from Alabama, so when I go to Alabama, I have a place to park. Yeah, I think this painting is definitely finished. I'm happy with it. Hi, Nugget. Look who's popped out. Popped out to say hello. Hello, Nugget. Are you stuck on anything? Ta-da! So that's the cabinet. It's got three compartments, three shelves. It's like a shelving unit, but I, we're going to do it horizontal across the foot of the bed so that I have day-to-day -day clothing storage. Well, I love how mobile this life is and that I can make this decision with the drop of a hat. Packing up to go. Making sure it's secure. Ooh, I should empty the water from my cooler before I move. Yeah. This is my gorgeous Leo full moon. Just for me. Listen to Joanne in the background. I'm trying to record a video here. She's so full of disgust. Ooh. Yay, I, I turned the video on just the time for for sharp things and people to chop off limbs. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this video is so getting a copyright infringement. I'm begging <laughs> And this is Carrie. Yes, the nomadic bus. So we're just rocking around the fire right now, having a grand time before I head off to Joshua Tree. Just the soft hang, my broccoli. My aluminum foil for tenting. Yeah, I don't have a lid for this cast iron pan, but aluminum foil does feel fine. Right? Pour a little water over the top. Throw this over that. Throw the leftover. Leftover jambalaya. A little kielbasa in it. Oh, she said Polish sausage. That's kielbasa. That'll make for some nice flavor. Um, I am going to go to Joshua Tree and when I get back, so I'm going to take measurements from this beam here over to the beam in the back by the back door. And she's going to look for wood that, so we're going to screw it here and back over there. Um, <clears throat> and then we can move forward from there because then I have something to attach something to whether it be a shelf whether it be screwing baskets like this and turning them into shelves right Gives me something flush to work with. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the deal with what's going on there. And I'm going to be heading out tomorrow to go to Joshua Tree. 
Uh, so I'm going to end this video here and say thank you very much for joining me today. Um, and we will see you next time. Well, if you liked today's video, you can smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. If you'd like to contribute to the journey to keep me moving forward to cool places like this, all the links are below in the description. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.